If you play in the midfield and you want to improve your game, these are some soccer drills for midfielders. Let's do some drills for midfielders. And I'm gonna show you a couple different drills that you can use to improve midfielder specific skills. The first one I wanna do is just dribbling, but really focusing on dribbling with the head up. Awareness. If you're dribbling in the midfield like this, with your head down all the time, you're gonna get yourself into trouble. So I have some balls set up here. If you don't have balls, you can use cones. If you don't have cones, you don't need any balls at all. You can just use open space. But the purpose of this is dribbling, still keeping control of the ball, but head up, head up. After you make a few touches, get your head up, keep shoulder checking, awareness. Where's the pass? Where's your teammate? But don't lose the ball, but keep that head up. In the beginning, you might be dribbling like this, pop up every once in a while because you your touch isn't quite there yet, but get in the habit of getting your head up. Over time, I don't even have to look at the ball. I know where it is. I can feel it with my peripherals. I can see with my peripheral vision. And obviously, you're gonna have to look down every so often. But as a midfielder, you need to get in this habit of constantly being aware of where the space is, teammates are, when you're in possession of the ball. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you wanna find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. So as a midfielder, passing, keeping possession, very important, but also awareness. As we did in the dribbling drill, this here, as a midfielder, is everything. Okay, so if you are receiving a pass and all you're looking at is the ball, you have no idea where, you're, where you can get tackled from, where the defenders are coming. You have no idea where your teammates are if you wanna play one touch, if you wanna release the ball quickly. So in order to play faster, you have to incorporate scanning the field, awareness, shoulder checking all the time. Okay, so before that ball's coming to me, before I'm playing my pass, at all times, I can't give you a rule of check your shoulder one time because that's not how it works. The more you check your shoulder, the better, as long as you can still receive the ball. Okay, but when that ball's coming, try to find where the space is, turn, bit of skill, play that pass. Yeah, bit of skill, but play that pass, shoulder check, go again. Okay, so the first part of this drill is scanning the field, shoulder checking. Next part, look at how I'm receiving the ball. So as a midfielder, whenever I can, I want to try to receive half turn. That means I'm turning my body before I touch the ball. A lot of players, they want to go that way, but their first touch is here, second touch here, third touch there. If you want to play quicker, I don't even need a touch and I'm already doing the same thing that you just did. Okay, so focus on receiving the ball, either opening up your body, if the weight of the pass is soft enough that you can run with it or my touch can I turn quickly and take that touch back into me or even just receiving here is a lot better but you can't do that if you haven't done the shoulder checking first because if you don't know who's there and you turn into trouble boom get tackled okay so shoulder check first half turn bit of skill here do whatever you want have fun the final thing is quality of the pass. So as a midfielder specifically, but every player, take pride in your passing. So when I play that pass, getting over the ball. Okay, I'm really, so many of us, we have, we're playing passes and we just do it so casually because you, it's just a pass. It's just a five yard pass. How many times in the game have you given a, away a five yard pass, especially when you get tired? So every pass, I wanna see a little emphasis a little um, pride, quality. I'm getting over it a bit more. Okay, so I'm getting over the ball a bit more. I'm not passing up here if I don't have to. Sometimes you have to lunge for a pass. But when you can, 
get over it a bit more and really overemphasize your technique. If my foot is weak, it's limp like this, I'm not gonna have an accurate pass. If I really open that up, tighten it up, follow through towards my target, take pride in my passing, flex that foot, every pass is gonna be better. So when you do this drill, quality in your passing. And I didn't even shoulder shot, got myself in trouble. Ooh. Ooh. Little bit of skill. And as always, I'm playing with both feet. In this row, we're gonna do some long passing. And if you only have one ball, find a wall, ping it against that wall, let it bounce back to you, go again. But if you have a few balls and you wanna try hitting it into a net, just get that ball out of your feet, play a driven pass, good technique, into the net. Try to hit the back of the net without the ball bouncing. Okay, so good technique, driven pass, focus on, and if you can, don't just have a dead ball, go and hit it. Because in a match, that's not realistic. You're either coming off a turn or a dribble, getting your head up, good technique, driven pass, Let's do better than that. And maybe you missed the net, but you go again. There you go, driven pass. Okay, after you play that, you can run to the other side. <clears throat> Get your balls again. So depending on the distance, a little bit of fitness, come. Get it out of your feet. Driven pass again. And like always, ooh, crossbar, ooh, camera. I'm always playing with both feet. So as I said, it's better for you to practice off a dribble. It's more realistic. Get that ball down, good technique. Playing with both feet. There we go, beautiful. This drill is about shooting, but I wanna make it midfielder specific. So I have my trusty box. If you don't have a teammate, find something. Like I said in another video, this is a piece of wood. So if you're gonna make the excuse of, I don't have a box, be creative, find something, because that's a beautiful tool if you have no one to practice with. Okay, but I'm playing this pass. Here I wanna, I wanna focus on getting my shot off quickly, but opening up. So I'll play that. As you can see, I'm receiving that on a half turn. I'm not receiving like this, and then turning, and then trying to beat him. I'm not receiving away from goal if I don't have to. I'm playing this and I'm already open on him. Touch, strike, hit the net, score the goal. Okay, so again, play the pass, open up, quick touches, and get it on net. Don't worry about the quality of the shot to start, just hit the target. Play that pass, there's a flat ball, that's all right. And go again. It's good for me to show you guys misses because everyone misses. If you miss, get the ball, go again. Okay, you can do this in different variations. The other way that you should practice if we're making this midfielder specific would be something like this. Imagine you're receiving the ball off a defender. Half turn, bit of skill. Take the shot, let's get a better shot now that we demoed. Half turn. Touch, and a better shot, go again. Half turn. There we go. Practice till you get it. Like I said before, if I have a bad shot, I'm not just gonna move on, go back to my strong foot. I'm gonna go back and try to replicate that same shot until I get it the way that I want. Okay, so that's two areas, two ways to practice this. But as a midfielder, it's receiving half turn, not receiving with your back to goal, not receiving here, here, then go at him. Running with the ball, bit of quick skill, get your shot off quickly, missing the net too many times. That's the corner. Okay, so this is a great drill to practice shooting as a midfielder. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my content has helped you improve as a player.